so students let us start with streamline function and velocity potential function in rectangular coordinates velocity potential function in cylindrical coordinates is expressed in terms of r theta and z but in fluid mechanics its scope is limited only to r and theta so by the partial differentiation of velocity potential function that is phi we get ur is equal to d phi upon dr now this can be written as d phi upon d theta is equal to r u theta so this u theta is equal to 1 upon r dou phi by dou theta so we have already learned about rotational and irrotational flow so now omega is equal to omega xi plus omega yj plus omega zk and now we have to write this omega in the form of matrix so in the matrix form it is written as now this i j and k this becomes u v w now this is dou by dou x dou by dou y and dou by dou z so now this is the equation which is used to find whether the flow is rotational flow or an irrotational flow writing the above equation in relation with velocity potential function we get omega z is equal to 1 by 2 dou u upon dou y minus dou v upon dou x and this is your equation number 1 now the velocity potential function in rectangular coordinates can be written as u is equal to minus dou phi upon dou x and v is equal to minus dou phi upon dou y now what we will do is we will substitute this value of u and v in equation 1 so we get omega z is equal to 1 by 2 dou upon dou y multiplied by minus dou phi upon dou x which is the value of u minus dou upon dou x multiplied by minus dou phi upon dou y which is the value of v so we obtain 1 by 2 minus dou square phi upon dou y dou x plus dou square phi upon dou x dou y so we can say for rotational flow omega z is not equal to 0 hence minus dou square phi upon dou y dou x is not equal to dou square phi upon dou x dou y similarly for the irrotational flow we know omega z is equal to 0 so now this can be written as dou square phi upon dou y dou x is equal to dou square phi upon dou x dou y so this explains the relation of velocity potential function with cylindrical coordinates and its application with rotational and irrotational flow now we'll learn about the relation of streamline function that is psi in cylindrical coordinate system so we know u theta is equal to dou psi upon dou r and ur is equal to 1 upon r dou psi upon dou theta this can be said as a relation of streamline function with cylindrical coordinated system where u theta is tangential velocity and ur is your radial velocity streamline function in rectangular coordinate can be written as u is equal to minus dou psi upon dou y and v is equal to dou psi upon dou x again omega z is equal to 1 by 2 dou v upon dou x minus dou u upon dou y and this is your equation number 2 for two dimensional system the value of omega x and omega y is not required now what we'll do is again we'll substitute the value of u and v in the equation 2 so we get omega z is equal to 1 by 2 dou upon dou x multiplied by dou psi upon dou x 
minus dao upon dao y multiplied by minus dao psi upon dao y. So this becomes 1 by 2 dao square psi upon dao x square plus dao square psi upon dao y square. This equation is used to determine whether the flow is a rotational flow or an irrotational flow. Now we can say for rotational flow omega z is not equal to 0. Hence this becomes minus dao square psi upon dao x square is equal to dao square square upon dao y square. And for rotational flow omega z is equal to 0. So this becomes dao square psi upon dao x square minus in the negative form is equal to dao square psi upon dao y square. This explains the relation of streamline function with cylindrical coordinates and its application with rotational and irrotational flow. Streamline function and its application in rotational as well as irrotational flow. Thank you.